Hi, Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV. <clears throat> and we're going to show you here one of the um, uh, hat sand range. It is a bit of a beast, the old Gladius, but it's um, I, there's a chap down my shooting club. He's got one of these. He's got a collection of a whole load of high-end air rifles right the way through. And he loves it. He's got one of these and he absolutely loves it. It's obviously got a sort of military overtones. It's a bullpup. PCP so as you can see the action literally is coming right to the back of the stock there and um, so you can see your breech blocks actually there that's the, the negative I'll get that out of the way first of all because the breech is right um, sort of you're resting very near near the face which I don't like from a sort of safety aspect but they all most ball, ball pups do it it's yeah it, it's it's this part of the system but it should be fine but it's just I don't know something about it but that style of gun it's bringing all the weight right back and it does transform handling now I've, I've found in practice these are great for sort of kneeling shots um, really steady it's just standing that I suddenly find I need more weight at the front but there's a big trend for these and um, this is a very very popular gun obviously the Gladius has been out a while with Hatsan but yeah it's all these features you get in for the money so let's look at it so you've got thumb hole configuration of the stock so as you can see this is um it's quite a sort of high density synthetic molding so the whole stock is in one piece here integral thumb hole grip and coming right to the back you've got adjustable features on the stock here so you, you can see you've got a um a rotary um knurled button there you turn that round and then you can adjust the height of the comb so obviously you've actually got I mean, the fact you've got a comb on here there's a lot of ball pups with an exposed block there and you just your face is going right on it which is there's no real comfort here you've got a proper cheek piece to rest on which is lovely as well as the adjustable comb you've also got an adjustable butt and you can see you put a coin or, or um, a screwdriver in there adjust these off and then you can actually set the um, that comes right out and then you can put it set it to exactly the right distance get that right and you're adding probably adding about an inch inch and a quarter of extra length of pull that can make all the difference on the get setting that eye scope alignment and just getting that whole right feel get the length of pull right and we'll sit fall to where the trigger is without stretching without um, stressing muscles that's what it's all about so all that adjustment is brilliant but obviously we'll start at the front and then we'll come back to the other features so you can see you've got a full length Everything's sort of big and bold with this gun, but you've got a full length metal shroud going around the barrel. You've got their QE system, quiet efficiency, that stands for, and obviously it's taking off some of the muzzle report as it comes in there. Uh, you know, obviously with, with any pneumatic, you've got rapidly expanding air, which causes a real crack. And obviously the, the, the shroud will eat up some of that. The, looking to the front, you've got the manometer at the front there to show you residual pressures now as I say we don't like it at the front but that's how it is as we we keep saying with these you've also got the filling valve is there so you can see a sliding dust cover which is great that will stop the dirt getting in and you've got the probe style of filling adapter that you'll insert into there and then charge up your main cylinder you can see you've got various Picatinny accessory rails up front so you've got a whole massive scope for adding on lamps or lasers or what have you because it's the ballpark you've got the sort of raised sight rail with sort of intermount here and then you've got their dual system rail as you can see we've got Picatinny style um, mounts that are in use at the moment coming on the outer rail but they cleverly design it so that, that inner rail you, is you can use just like a dovetail which is pretty clever very simple and very clever they do that on most of their guns now so yeah that's, that's a nice feature from Hatsan. moving back you've got a side lever operation you've got a that that is the catch that actually retains the magazine for when it's in the system as so two stage trigger you've got an automatic safety catch on this which is slightly irritating because obviously it's gonna it slows up your if you were just going to use this for a bit of fast fire fun as they say obviously that that's slowing up the process but it's a, it's a it's certainly safe so you've got an in in guard trigger there you just push forward before you can take your shot uh, so obviously this comes with four magazines which is amazing and then you've got the provision there you've got three magazine holders so these just clip in underneath held you know sort of where you want them yeah so good system 
So we'll take a closer look at the magazine and that is of the sort of simple cast variety. So you literally just push a, push a shot into each one. As I say, you've got four of these mags and once you're ready, then you cock the system like so. Fair bit of um, lever uh, pressure required, but it's nothing major. Push that catch forwards. That's actually spring loaded. Drop your uh, magazine into the slot. Like so, you sort of you can see there's a, a small little indent there. Line that up with the raised part on the mag. Push it in and let that spring loader come back, and it should just snap once it comes back. Obviously, you've locked the magazine in place. If it doesn't want to come back, just slightly move the mag around, and you, you'll get it. Once it's in, you should be able to shut your lever. And now we're away and we're good to the tune of however many shots are in your magazine. And that varies depending on calibre. Yeah, let's just see it in action. So I say push the safety forwards. So there we go. Pretty quiet actually. I've got to say, so yeah, the, the, the shroud's doing its job. But yeah, in use, it's um, I suppose it's not quite as smooth as some systems, but it's it works very well. You've basically got so many features and it's it's an awful lot of air gum for the money. So um, yeah, something, something to think about. Obviously sling swivels as well is probably the detail we missed off of that, but that's the Hatsan Gladius.